Hi, I'm Wayne. I'm a volunteer ambulance officer at Bothwell and also a volunteer with the Bothwell Historical Society. I'm in my 26th year as a volunteer here at Bothwell. We originally started in 1993 when the local GP thought, oh, we need an ambulance service. So members of the community were contacted and then we established our group. Initially we had 14 volunteers. So we've always had very strong people which have formed a core group within the community that are willing to get out and get their hands dirty. We are first responders out here in rural remote and we're waiting on paramedics or the helicopter or other sources to come from Ambulance Tasmania to give us that extra support. We've been to motor vehicle accidents, people who are short of breath, asthmatics, pregnancies. Um, I've had the opportunity to do, actually deliver a baby. You may get called to your next door neighbour. Uh, you may get called to someone that lives down the street, someone that's just moved into the town. So there's always that in the back of your mind that we are going to Mrs X, yes, and I went to school with her. So you, as an individual volunteer, you have to build up some resilience so you can provide the pre-hospital care. And the community is very welcoming to volunteers, particularly AMBOs, who get out there and get amongst it and get it done. We can't always rely on local government or other levels of government to provide some of these resources. So it's a matter of going around and seeing who you can tap into and say, how about coming giving us a hand? Historical Society, we do the family histories. Uh, we receive various articles from families who think that, okay, this would be good to keep here in the municipality. It's important because if we don't have history, we don't have anything reliable to go back on and review on how we've actually come to where we are today. I think it's something that's just part of you, just something inside you that says, I need to help this community. The important thing is to get out, give it a go. That's the most important thing. You may read about it, you may hear about it, and no, oh, I'm not quite sure. Make contact with the volunteer organisation and say, I'm interested in doing this. What can you provide me with? And the most important thing is that people go and have a face-to-face -face with that volunteer organisation. If they only volunteer for two hours a month, that means they're giving something back to somebody and an organisation. It's very hard to say why people volunteer. I know we do it to help, but it's something within you, and we're not going out there to actually get praise. We're going out there to actually help people as much as we can. And at some stages, you get little or no benefit, but that's not the aspect you're looking for. It's what you can put back into your community. As far as a volunteer AMBO goes, we're really just ordinary people doing an extraordinary job. And that also applies to a lot of other people who volunteer in all aspects of volunteering within Tasmania and the rest of Australia.